In this episode, I'm here at the East Bay Mini Maker Fair in Oakland, California. There's a lot of cool projects going on, a lot of people making stuff, a lot of people using open source to make their projects. I'm Aaron Newcomb, and you're watching The Source. All right, so what is it that we're looking at here? All right, so uh, me and this guy are Symbol Rides. You can go to SymbolRides.com. We built a flight simulator motion chair. The video games and all the controllers are standard video games and controllers. We have a small piece of software that gets motion data from that and sends it to the chair. The uh, chair is a collection of picks and razor motors and levers and springs and a bunch of other stuff that uh, give you a much more real experience when you're playing a video game. We uh, started this project because we wanted a flight simulator and all of them that we could find were pretty expensive. So we figured we could build one for much cheaper and so we did. Uh, we are at the point where we're probably going to start selling these January-ish. Uh, if you go to symbolrides.com, you should be able to sign up and let us know. That's S-I-M-B-O-L. Um, yeah. Anything else going on? Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe you could show me what we've got going inside the actual chair here. Yeah, sure. So this is just a standard serial port, which is what the computer is sending as signals to here. There's a pick that interprets that data, and it's just you know zero to two fifty five on both axes or whatever. Two of the other picks are counter chips for the quadrature encoders and these wheels here that let us know what position the chair's in at a given time. Um, the other one's just switch trigger and a bunch of electronics. This is a motor controller from Sawtooth. Uh, these two are Razor motors, from the, like Razor scooters or whatever, 100% duty cycle motors. They're one of the cheapest ones we could find. Um, if you look a little bit above this, you'll see this shaft that we built, which is all Delrin, and we tapped this and you know have this little corkscrew and built this whole little uh, the frame here to hold in the actuators, and that's pretty much it. There's a you know microcontroller tells the motors how to move and matches with the video game. Wow. Great. That's very exciting. Hopefully people yeah. go to the website and check it out. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah. Um, my name is Lenore Edmond, and I'm demonstrating the EggBot with Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories. All right, great. So how does it work? So the EggBot um, draws on eggs. Uh, you start by drawing something on the computer, and uh, instead of sending it to a printer that prints on paper or other flat media, we send it to the EggBot, which can print on round, um, well, not really round, spherical or egg-shaped things. Um, as diverse as pumpkins and uh, ping pong balls, oranges, we've got a little ghosty orange here. Um, and we, anything that you can design on the computer, you can print to um, something spherical. Great. Now, what kind of software does it use to make to use the design? So we use Inkscape, which is a drawing program a lot like Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. Uh, it's an open source um, software that's just wonderful to use. We really like it. And then we've written an extension to control the Eggbot. Okay, great. And then the extension plugs in via looks like via USB cable. Yep. Via USB. Yep. And then is the software. Um, uh, Multi-platform compatible? It is. It is cross-platform compatible. Mac, Windows, Linux, everybody. Okay, great. And then you're selling these online? Yes, we are. Okay, at eggbot.com? Uh, Egg-bot.com. You got it. And can you build these as well yourself? Or? You can. All of the plans are available online. It's an open source software and hardware project. So all of the plans are available. All right, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, that's it for this mini edition of The Source from East Bay Mini Maker Fair. If you want to know more about this annual event, you can go to ebmakerfair.wordpress.com. See you next time.